Hello everyone, it's Jack from Visual Effects. So today um, we're going to be talking about focal lengths in space. So you've probably, if you're watching this tutorial, you've probably got into visual effects because you like sci-fi. That's the reason I got into visual effects stuff, because of Star Wars and things like District 9 and that sort of thing. So I've seen a few amateur renders where some of the models are amazing. Like... This model here that I've made isn't particularly amazing, but with a camera placement and getting the focal length right, you can make it actually look quite good. So this tutorial is specifically focal lengths in space. So if we just render to see what we've got, we need to try and find an angle. So you kind of want it to fill the frame. So you'd probably go right up to it like this and have something like that. Now, when it's resolved, it will look quite nice, but the what you're used to seeing on films is quite long focal lengths, the same as like using longer focal length lenses, like anything beyond 135mm. So the reason this doesn't look as we're used to seeing on films is because we're probably too close to it. This ship's relatively big, not huge, but it's, it's the size of at least three living rooms. So it's it's relatively big. Um, so if you was to be filming that from a safe distance and being able to track it, you probably wouldn't be that close to it in space. So. I think where it originally did from on like things like Star Wars and stuff is they used longer focal length lenses so it looks like you're actually filming from another spaceship or even if you're just an astronaut floating in space you're not right by the ship so you'd need to zoom in to get that kind of look so I think that's where it stems from but in doing so it compresses the image and makes the whole spaceship a lot better looking so let's demonstrate that for you. So if we just change our focal length now to about 135mm, which is a nice focal length. So you can see it's compressing, so we just need to pull ourselves back out. And now we get that nice look that we're used to seeing on films, which is really nice. So I wouldn't really use the denoiser in this way, but it's just so that I can get good fast renders relatively quick. Um, so yeah, you can see that it definitely looks a lot better, even though it's not necessarily a brilliant model, but it just makes it look and feel more filmy. So flicking between the two, you can definitely see the difference. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't get close still, because you can create some pretty looking, pretty cool looking renders by getting close to your ship with a lens like this. But let's just push it one step further and go for another focal length, which is about 200mm, which is another cinematic one that's quite zoomed, and see if that makes that much difference. It just makes it feel chunky and more bulky. Remember, you've got to make the models to scale as well if you're using Octane. Right, so let's just spin it round to the front now. So we've got this nice looking front image and again look it looks quite filmic because of the lens that we've used. So it's another way to like it compresses the detail so you don't actually have to put as much detail into the ship because you're not as close to the ship either. So here you can see it looks pretty cool but if we was to change this to 35mm or 50 and then get really close it just lacks that cinematic edge. It's very subtle and it's the sort of thing that you start to care more about once everything else is right, once you've mastered all the other 3D skills, you're like, actually, the camera's important as well. It does come with time and practice, but yeah, that just, it looks confusing. It doesn't necessarily look like a ship anymore, which is it's quite interesting just by having that focal length swap from this to this and it changes the whole feel of the image. So this year, hopefully, we're going to do a lot more tutorials, more visual effects, and more actual filming stuff as well. So 
if you like this sort of content just drop us a comment or a like and we can probably produce similar stuff to this for future things so hopefully you found it fun and we'll catch you on the next one